What's up everyone, it's your boy Norrenrad89 here bringing you in a fun video today. Today was one that I actually was thinking about while I was at work last night. I was just like, this would be kind of a cool thing to talk about because I was thinking about some of my favorite and least favorite horror tropes just in the genre in general. So today, like I said, cause especially because it's Valentine's Day, we're going to talk about a little bit of love and a little bit of hate. Like I said, some of my favorite horror tropes, but also some of my least favorite horror tropes in the genre. So stay tuned. Let's do this. Roll it. So of course these are just my thoughts and my opinions, my favorite and least favorite tropes that I have in the horror genre. Please let me know down below your list or some of your favorites that are in the genre. If there's some that I forget, hit me up down below in the comments so we can chat because like I said, this is just my list and my thoughts on mine. So let's talk about my favorite ones first. Let's go with the favorite ones first, the best and everything. Let's start off with the final girl trope, which is very famous. The final girl trope is something that was really kind of honed and coined to a profession throughout the slasher craze in the 80s. It kind of started in the Giallo era, you know, kind of in the late 60s, even into the 70s, but really they found its its niche in the 80s. And that's where the final girl trope really had its, you know, shine and really had its moment and that still to this day is one of my favorites. Another great thing I love about that trope is that you could actually subvert expectations and actually kind of flip that on its script and having the kind of almost slutty, kind of lush type girl be your final girl, i.e. Zombievers. That's a great example, one right there. That's a fabulous example of a, you know, fat final girl who ends up being, you know, like as one of your slutty type characters, your lush characters. So, you know, I'm spoiling, I just know I'm spoiling that movie. Also, when you just in general make the slutty character more of a intelligent character that is something that I do enjoy because you subvert expectations. Another horror trope that I am fantastically in love with is a creepy setting a really you know awful dingy looking house or a creepy castle or a haunted mansion especially if the location is a real on set location that the actors and actresses get to you know dive in and really get their hands dirty in when they're doing their scenes and everything. I love that aspect because that really adds, you know, atmosphere and another layer to the film. So me, I'm totally down for that trope, even though it's, you know, very common in a lot of horror movies. Yes, since the beginning of time, since the black and white eras, there's that creepy castle that everybody talks about and it's there on the hill you know everybody talks about it and whispers about it when they walk past and they never go up there you know that kind of thing that's also one of my favorite tropes another trope that i really do enjoy this might not be <clears throat> yeah I, I guess you can kind of consider this a trope I, i'm gonna count it as one this might just be a type of horror film but not really type of horror film because yeah it is a trope within these films is having the kind of protagonist male character that really isn't a heroine type character you know what I mean he's kind of more of a bumbling idiot type character and more is kind of accidentally a hero and you have the more badass female character so i.e I'm going to give you two examples right now we have zombie land that's one great example right there and another one is vicious fun those are the two movies that come to the top of my head when I'm thinking of this kind of trope like I really do like this one and I have fun with this one because you know when you grew up watching films from the 80s and the 70s they always had those male characters as they were these great heroines. They knew martial arts or they knew how to, you know, fire all the guns and knew all the techs and the gadgets and they knew how to save all the damsels in distress. So I like how we have horror films that do that and they kind of flip that on its script where we have the more badass female characters and the male characters kind of like... You know, like more of an accidental type hero, not really one that's a true hero. And because I'm a huge slasher fan and a Friday the 13th fan, you know, one of the, one trope that calls home to me that really just hits home and is just a soft spot in my heart is having that, you know, that creepy old fella that's just there warning you and is like, you don't go down there, I'm warning you, you don't go down that road. You know, there's death waiting for you at the end of that street. You know, that kind of character. I love that basic, you know, character. The Ralph character. You know, that standard Ralph character that's there to warn the kids. You know, you're making, you're about to make some idiotic decisions if you keep going down that road and you want to go party and everything. But they never, they never do listen to Ralph, do they? And one other solid trope that I really do enjoy is a twist ending. When it's done right, when you're able to do it right, 
it lands really well. This is one that you could kind of really fumble this. You can really fumble this where it's the twist doesn't land or you have too many and or it's uh, kind of uh, foreshadowed. You know what I mean? It's kind of like, you know, you can just see it coming. Those are some of the ways that you can mess this up. But when you have a good solid twist ending that lands and really hits home, you know, that is a good trope that I do enjoy. You know what I mean? Because like there's some out there that just really hit hard, like especially like a... Um, what it's not, I guess it's kind of a twist ending. It's not really a twist ending, but kind of a twist ending because it just came out of nowhere for me and went balls to the wall was House of the Devil. That's one film for me that, because the way the film is, it's totally unlike it is until you get to that last 15 minutes and then it kind of becomes a different movie, you know what I mean? Or even uh, from Dust Till Dawn, that's another film. That's another fantastic film that has a, basically a twist whole third act. So from Dust Till Dawn, don't have, if you haven't seen that movie, Please don't have anyone spoil that film for you because, yeah, like when you get to the third act, it becomes something completely different. So now that we talked about some of my favorite tropes in the horror genre, and let's talk about some of my least favorites. And one right off the bat, that one that I always think about, the number one for me is the, oh, uh, like the one that leave it to my imagination, you know what I mean, kind of thing. Don't, you know, I hate that. I just can't stand that trope of you know i know it's a writing trope it's more of a writing thing and a visual thing where it's instead of you know showing the audience everything you leave it to their imagination and make them more creative and make the audience a part of i just no no that's one trope for me that has never landed for me in really any genre of film like it's just i always am one of those people if, if you can do it and you can conceive the idea I really want to see it on screen. If you can come up with the idea and you've written that idea, I want to see it executed on screen as close to it as possible. Even if you have to use CGI to execute this, I would much rather practical effects, but if, even if you have to use CGI, I still would like to see the idea lived out on screen. Another trope that I do hate and really do dislike is the whole separating trope. I know this one, like, sometimes it's kind of cool. Sometimes it's done to its advantage where some films, they do a clever way of separating the characters. But when it's just like, oh, we're going to split up because I want to go this way and you guys should go that way. You know, that, that kind of thing. It's a very common trope. And yeah, that does get very annoying. And it's seen in many many films you know typically you know slashers a lot of these tropes are you know kind of coined and they're famous for being in slasher films and stuff like that so that's another reason why i love slasher films and in, in terms of being a subgenre of horror they really do leave a mark even if it is a positive or a negative one but yeah that that trope of just yeah the group has to split up or we have to separate like yeah, that does get kind of tiresome. One last trope that does bother me a lot is having too many jump scares. I love jump scares when they're done right, but it's few and far between. When you litter your movie with jump scares, which this became famous kind of in that paranormal activity kind of insidious era once the insidious films were coming out and the conjuring and paranormal activity jump scares really made a resurgence in the films of horror so that that trope for me is one that just i like it to an extent but it's like I said if it's overdone and it's overused it really does get tiresome and it becomes something that you just become inoculated to because you pretty much expect it at every point. It doesn't become a jump scare anymore, you know, it just becomes something that's common, something that's just expected within the movie. Thanks for sticking around with me all for this video of going through some of my favorite and least favorite horror tropes in the genre. Man, this is a really fun video and one that I had a lot of fun doing. And please let me know down in the comment section, like I said, what are some of your favorites and least favorites so we can discuss. Please also like this video that greatly helps out the chan greatly helps out the channel and subscribe if you're new and poke that notification bell so you're notified anytime I post a video. But most importantly, I want you all to have a safe and happy day. Peace out.